Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is your eating. And the thing about it is, is that it depends on what you're doing. A lot of times, your eating will change. Most of the time, at least mine will. Uh, right now, you all know that I'm more or less uh, concentrating on uh, running more or less than the uh, weightlifting uh, part of physical fitness. So, in order for me to do that, I basically, like I told you before, I still do the three meals a day, but my breakfast, rather than it be eggs, uh, egg whites, uh, something in that line, or uh, uh, baked fish or something like that in the morning time, my... Eating is more or less geared toward carbohydrates because you want to have that um, that dual energy system whenever you're working out. Um, that high protein type stuff, that's the kind of stuff you want to leave with bodybuilding. When it comes down to running and cycling on bikes or whatever, you want that dual energy system. You want to do that, like I told you before, and a lot of you already know this, but... We're going to talk about it again. You know, the body burn energy, carbohydrates, fat, proteins. And again, the proteins is where you don't want to get to because that's your muscles. So the reason you want to eat uh, more carbohydrates when you're doing uh, long distance type uh, exercises is that you want that dual energy system. You want to be able to... Uh, utilize the way the body is meant to function you want to be able to utilize the carbohydrates first that's your first energy source when you first start off on any type of long distance exercises so we're going to get to the we're going to stay with the running part of it because again that's what i'm doing so you start running and your body is uh using the carbohydrates as you begin to fatigue and burn through your uh, glycogen stores, your body will automatically switch towards burning the fats. And it's doing it in such a smooth transition, you know, that's when you get that, uh, a lot of the, uh, people call it, you know, that, uh, that extra win or whatever. And the only thing it is, it's not like you miraculously stop being tired. You just, your body has transitioned from burning carbohydrates to burning fats. You move to a, another energy system. You move to a, another fuel. It's just like a, a, a truck with uh, uh, two gas tanks on it. You know, once you burn the gas out of that first gas tank, the, gas, the second gas tank uh, is being used. So you go through the first gas tank, then you go to the second gas tank. That's the way the body works. It works the exact same way, but it does it automatically. You don't, you don't even have to do anything to make it do it. It'll automatically do it, especially when you're doing long distance type stuff. So that's the reason why you see me uh, today drinking my coffee, uh, oatmeal, and bananas. And you want that carbohydrate type of meal. And when you eat meals like this, a lot of the times, uh, if you're into the bodybuilding thing, you'll find that you're not able to, you're not going to get that ripped look because you are holding more water because of the carbs and stuff like that. That's the reason why you would have to you know, decide on what it is that you want to do. In a particular sport, if you want to do the bodybuilding thing, you would have to concentrate on that because uh, this different physical activity requires different ways of eating, and you can't get the same result. You know, bodybuilding again. Those of you that are in love with the bodybuilding thing, that's your thing. It requires you to basically dehydrate the body to get that. Uh, extremely muscular look. It requires a uh, higher of a protein type diet than 
a diet of a runner. It's totally different. That's why I say whatever type of sport that you are interested in, you probably need to stay with that particular sport in order to get the best benefits from it. So today I'm doing my, again, my oatmeal. My oatmeal, my bananas, and my coffee. And that's my meal when I'm doing the, the running thing. And once I get acclimated to the way I'm running, and then my, di my diet may change again because I would probably won't be running longer and longer distances, but I'll normally keep up that mile run at least every other day because I want to stay acclimated to being able to run as well as lift weights. So the diet will change depending on what my needs are. Same thing. Anyway, that's what I thought I'd talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.